What's happening YouTube? It's Braxwolf here back with another video and this time I want to show you how I turned my Meepo board into an electric tricycle. Mmm, I'm excited about this one. Road the intro. By the way, if you want to skip straight to the build, just go down to the description and skip it in the timestamp. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It would really help my little channel grow. Let's go. I've had this idea stuck in my head ever since I got my electric skateboard. Maybe it's because you sit on it at first and you just go forward like a go-kart. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to build a go-kart shell around the skateboard. But then that would just defeat the whole purpose of this. It would be so heavy because I'd have to build it out of wood. And it just, it, it wasn't it wasn't the right idea here. So I started looking at my alternatives. So I figured finding something used would be my best bet. Something that already had some sort of steering. So I went on offer up looking for things. I searched through children's balance bikes and, and pedal go-karts. And I even looked at those hoverboard attachments. But the price was so high. And again, I wasn't looking to spend a lot of money. I was just looking for something strong, sturdy, lightweight, and, and, and it rolled well. That's what mattered most. It just needed to roll well. So then, I stumbled upon this gem right here. This tricycle was the perfect design, and if I wanted to, I can even mount a two-stroke engine to it. Yes. I felt like I stole from the guy for $20. I did some research and I found out that Harbor Freight were selling these tricycles. It was $59 at some point. They are no longer selling them. There's someone else online selling it for like $250. It's not the, the same brand. There's other stickers around it. Alright, enough talking. Let's break down my Meepo Mini. So that wasn't that hard, right guys? Alright, so this was the plan. A wood plank would go behind the seat which would hold the speed controllers. Then another plank underneath to hold the battery and the trucks. The trucks would be an inch forward from the back of the tricycle axle, raised slightly higher than the tricycle's back wheels. Oh, and some support if needed. But as I cut the templates from cardboard and put up to the tricycle, I realized things were just cramped up. The angle of the tricycle was too low to hold the battery and the piece of wood. So I quickly tried to adapt by placing the speed controllers in the back behind the wheels facing up. But again, it just didn't look right or feel right. Hold on, I gotta go back to the drawing board. See, this is a simple project. But one thing is important, to create a design that's simple, sleek, lightweight, and with the ability to stand in the back for wheelies of course. So after coming up with a few failures, I finally had it. I was trying to overcomplicate the build by separating the components all over the place. But what if... This will be attached to the back of the tricycle and then the battery will be up top and then the speed controller will be right underneath and they're actually going to share one hole. Um, they're going to overlap each other and kind of sandwich the wood but it's going to be something like this. So this should just come off. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sure did, sure came off. I gotta remove these, these pedals um, because once I'm going high speeds, I don't want this thing going crazy.
Moment of truth right here. Oh shit. Light is on. Now it's alive. Got our speed controller. Our back trucks with the hub. They're kicking. Under here we have our battery. Holy shit, this design is sick. So much better than I anticipated. Holy shit, that thing hauled ass. It was like too fast for the tricycle to handle. I obviously need to make some changes to that tricycle if I want to go those speeds. Um, one, I need to implement some bicycle front fork so it's an actual wheel and I can put some pegs on it so I don't have that little thing still spinning between my feet which I'm sure it takes down some speed from the tricycle not that it needs um, wheelies so easy to pop wheelies too easy um, I need to work on my wheelie game as you guys saw it it's not that impressive but I'll get better um, overall that thing was so much fun I feel like I haven't had that much fun in so long and going through traffic, everyone is staring at me like I'm this grown man child. China, don't you dare steal this design. I see you, Meepo, come out with a Meepo tricycle. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoy my Meepo tricycle conversion. Um, click that thumbs up if you did and share with your friends. Let them know that an electric tricycle is possible. Go down in the comments and let me know where you want to see this setup on next since everything is broken apart anyways. Um, it might be a Barbie Jeep. Who knows? It might not move. So go down in the comments and let me know. Also subscribe if you haven't because that helps my lazy ass get up and create for the people. See you next time. Peace out. They need to make some tools that like as you turn it makes a different noise like um like this